Yo, 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 what's good, guys? Welcome to another episode of the Altcoin Buses. We're just going to be touching up on a few things today. We're going to be focusing on coins that are actively pulling back and sitting around the 50 EMA. Now, why is this important, ladies and gentlemen? Because pullbacks are always the start of a pattern, all right? Whether it's a W formation, M formation, or simply the preparation for a rise continuation to the upside, we are looking for coins that are actively showing an interest at key notable areas. So, for example, ZEC, USDT, you can see that this coin on the one hour time frame looks like it's formulating a potential W formation in and around the 50 and the 200 EMA. Now, in order for this to be a valid play, we need to make sure that price stays above the first leg of this pattern right here. Although it can come as low as the, um, the wick down here, then it would still be deemed as a valid W formation. If it violates this zone and continues further, then the actual pattern would be flawed and we would be considering that Zek itself is on a weekly cycle to the downside because if you look you can see you've got the left side of the shoulder of the shoulder here you've got the head and then you've got the right side which is a variation of an M formation all right so then if we base it on the principle of cycles we have got ourselves level one drop we've got ourselves level two drop now remember on the hourly the hour time frame is where we establish the cyclical move OK, the 15 minute time frame is going to help us understand the development of any patterns within. All right. But what we need to be mindful of, as much as we can see a W formation pending, we need to wait for the confirmation that price is going to continue higher. So we are waiting for shift candles to appear in this zone and this zone right here to solidify that this pattern is going to hold. If the pattern fails, then we will be going into a continuation to the downside level three peak formation. Now, we do know that the cycles involve the following. You've got the W formation here, rise level one, rise level two, rise level three, peak formation, drop level one, drop level two, drop level three, peak formation. Right now, we are in this zone right here, okay, which you can see over here. Now, if this pattern is going to play out, we would expect it to move away from this zone right here and shift out. If it doesn't, and then price continues down lower to test the 800 EMA, which is where all this liquidity is currently sat at, then we will then have a full cyclical move to the downside, which would then prepare us for a pattern in this realm right here, which would sit at last week's low. Okay, looking at another coin. We've got render token, which looks like it's trying to pull back towards the 50 EMA. Now, we've had a lot of traction with this coin. You can see the little W formation here. Price rises to the upside, retrace, continuation up. Are we due to see another move by render token, considering that we actually have, not a render token, sorry, um, considering that we actually have liquidity in this realm up here. Now, if we actually zoom out and look at this coin on the highest time frame, you can see bright as day that we've got ourselves a perfect pattern formulating now for the short-term day trader it's a different story but for the day trader well the daily candle holder or swing trader you can see that price has now already made its move away from this zone so until it breaks above the midpoint of the w formation at 0 0.06 then we will be looking at price to come back up towards these previous pools of liquidity so that would be the first projection zone if it succeeds it and the second projection zone will be right here which will then take us towards the next zones in the chart which do not have any vectors on the daily but down towards the hourly we should see those vectors right there so if we bring up the one hour time frame you can see as you get further and further into the chart where it is quite far away to be honest with you so i ain't going to go all the way back there but there are vector candles further above okay next coin cadena Cadena is currently now trapped in between the 200 the 50 and the 800 ema this is important because there look W formation is starting to form out. Everything is starting to formulate a pattern. We are preparing price. That's exactly what is happening right now. You can see that Cadena is working on forming the second leg of the W formation. And it can go as far down as this point right here in the chart, which is where the vector candle sits. All right. Even lower and completely take back the whole wick itself. As long as it stays within this range from $14.73 all the way up from $16.19. That is the range that they have to build this pattern. If they do succeed with building this pattern, we should see Cadena moving back up. All right. Render token now. This is what we're talking about. Render token is doing very interesting things. 
it's consolidating at the 50 and the 200. Whenever the moving averages contract together, get ready for expansion. So keep an eye out on Cadena because Cadena has come away from a big move to the upside and it's only just consolidated clearly in front of us right now with these whips and whacks of price up and down in the range. They've brought the, together the 200 and the 50 EMA. Ladies and gentlemen, if there's something that you look for in a chart, it's this behavior here. Because see it in terms of contraction and expansion. Contraction is what's happening right now. They are bringing price together, consolidating it in tighter ranges with the intention to get ready to move out of the zone. If the intention is to move higher with this coin, they will break out and make the move. And the only way that we can establish that is if we start paying attention to how they're behaving in and around this zone. What are they doing more of? and not fulfilling it. So in other words, if they're building longs, they're moving price down lower and lower, yet they're not breaking down lower. There's only one point in the chart where they actually made the move down lower, which was in this realm right here, all right, between the $6 mark, where they had built the longs below the key notable area to shift back out again. When you see these extreme movements in the chart, it's the market maker working all the orders and all the liquidation points from the traders previously who had gone long and didn't pay themselves. So when you see them working the longs, sorry, working the lows, but not going lower, it tells you that something is happening. Working the highs, but not going higher. The principal movements are happening below the key $7 mark and the key $6 mark as well. So render token is getting ready potentially to see another move to the upside. Again, it's a coin now sat at the 50 EMA and the 200 EMA on the one hour time frame. All right. One inch. Same story. Is currently at the 50 EMA. We are waiting for this pattern to formulate to make a move to the upside and get ready to recover some of these previous vector zones right here. Matic, spoke about Matic earlier on today to the Patreons, and we are waiting for a continuation to the upside with Matic because it's bouncing off the 50. The 200 and the 800 EMA are showing direction that they favor, favor higher prices. All right? So just pay attention to these coins, ladies and gentlemen, because they're about to do some serious things. Don't just jump the bullet and go in and buy these coins. No, you're waiting for confirmation. All right. Let the trade come to you. That's it. Nothing else to it. GRT below the 50 EMA and the 200 and the 800. Now it's quite choppy this coin itself, but you can see that we've come away from a W formation, the first move out and then retrace back down. Be mindful when you're trading coins like this because of look how aggressive they move price up and down. There's not any clear direction with it, all right? Flux coming down into this previous zone right here, testing the 50 and the 800 is a very important point in the chart, guys. So if they do decide to break from this point, we would need to make sure that they don't break beyond the 50 to 800 EMA on the hourly because then that would release a lot of liquidity to the downside because all this coin has been doing is just moving up, all right? Now, looking at some other altcoins itself, looking at the Metaverse coins, we can see that we've got a couple of winners. Mbox looks like it's doing pretty well. It has made a move high. And it came straight back down. When you see this sort of behavior in and around the highs, ladies and gentlemen, you know that they're just taking advantage of traders who are not paying themselves. And again, always pay yourself. It's not about who can hold the trade the longest. If you've got the ability to sit and hold a trade for such a long time and withstand all the drawdown and deviations away from your entry point, fine. That's your preference as a trader. But 90% of people that come into the game are looking for instant gratification, but they're not paying themselves. That's the problem. You're seeking the chance to make money in this game. Yet when it gets presented to you, you want more. Just take whatever's given to you and start again. Look at how many coins there are out there. They're not all doing the same thing, but they're doing something. All right. Boson, look at this. Coming back down to test the 50 EMA and the 200. What were we talking about? We are now getting ready to see this coin make an interesting move to the upside. Why? Because you've got yourself this rise, retrace, continuation play coming into fruition. Looking at the 200, sorry, looking at the actual bigger pattern across the board, you can see you've got W formation right here. Getting ready to come out, retrace, continuation up. Okay? Inside of this pattern, there are cycles within cycles and patterns within patterns. Look, there's another pattern in here. So you can see they are consolidating and preparing price. Keep an eye out on this coin, ladies and gentlemen. It's about to do something very interesting. Just monitor it.
All right. And remember, if you think that you, a coin's going to go and make a direction and you come away from it and then you come back and see that it's actually happened. Don't worry, ladies and gentlemen, because if we're coming away from W formations, we still have the rise, retrace, continuation up, retrace, continuation up. Remember, these two points right here. So level one end, level two start, level two end, level three start. This is what we're looking for. We're looking for these moments in the chart. All right, you can get caught up in this play right here and start looking at making entries from this point right here, but you don't really want to be getting those um, plays right there. You want to, those plays right there for the advanced players of this system and those who've got the relationship with risk that they can tolerate sitting in a drawdown. But as you become proficient with the strategy, naturally your entry will start getting more and more accurate. Okay, so please be mindful of that. Another coin that I want to look at is Sheba right now. Because Shiba seems to be doing some very interesting behavior. All right. So now we've hit the range daily week. Sorry, the range daily high and the range weekly high. All right. Now that's really interesting because the thing is, whenever you see price close towards the range daily high and the range daily low. All right. When they are quite close to each other, nine times out of ten, it's going to hit one or the other. All right. It's when it's really wide. Ideally, I would have preferred the range daily high to be up here. Because now that we've got this zone and hit the range weekly high. We're in two minds as to whether or not this coin is going to continue higher or not. All right. It's hit the extreme point in the chart. So we need to wait and see what's going to happen next with this coin. Is it just going to keep moving? Is it because of the news of it being listed on Kraken? I don't know. I will always come to the chart first and then find out what caused the move afterwards. Because the move that the news that has been declared about the actual coin itself has already been factored in with price, which is why they've manipulated it and built price in these zones right here to prepare it with the most amount of orders below the key notable areas so they can break through and ride on the hype of traders missing out on a move to the upside because Sheba's being listed somewhere or there's some positive news about it. Okay, cool. Where we at? I've been chewing your ears for the past 11 minutes. If you are new to the channel, guys, be sure to like and subscribe. My name is Tino and thank you for watching Traders Reality, the altcoin bosses edition. Take care yourself. Peace.